Hello. Hello. So today I'm talking about things that either annoy me or that I just don't understand. So this could be a long video. <laughs> the first one is trousers. Now at the moment I've got a pair of shorts on, a pair of tracky bottoms on and another pair of tracky bottoms on. Now you see people walking about like this all the time and I just don't get it. What? Just Why do you need to wear three pairs of trousers? It, I don't understand. It's, I mean, don't get me wrong, having tried it it's not uncomfortable but I just don't see the point. <laughs> Yeah. Especially when they're like all the way down here. What is the point in that? Because it just makes you look like you're doing the penguin scene out of Mary Poppins. It's like, I did Why? Now I'm out of those many pairs of tracksuit bottoms. Here's one more that I just don't quite grasp the concept of. The whole tucking your socks over your trousers, or tucking your trousers into your socks, I suppose would be, yeah, but anyway. I did, because that's not even comfortable, I really don't understand why you would do that, because it's annoying the hell out of me, like, in fact, it's just, that is much better. I don't understand that at all, because it's just nasty. Now this is one that annoys me, and I don't understand. This is my phone. If somebody rings me, this is how I speak on the phone. Hello, yes. Oh no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Give me a call later. Cheers. However, there were some really annoying people that for some bizarre reason like to walk up and down the street or through town going like this. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I get what you're saying, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I heard that Frank said to Mike, who said to Bill, we don't care. We don't need to hear your conversation. It's just not necessary. See? It's clever, isn't it? Now, there is a reason for hands-free. For example, hands-free is frankly a must if you really do need to take a call. Hi, oh, yeah, I'm just in the car at the moment. Don't look at the phone. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not actually driving. Um, yeah. But yeah, hi, I'm in the car right now, make it quick or call me back. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Now in this environment, hands-free is perfectly acceptable. Now, when I put the washing machine, I forgot I was filming this video. Oops. But this is another good place. If like my phone, you can answer it without even touching it. And you're washing the part of somebody calls. Get your phone to answer and hi, yeah. Can't talk for long, but... Uh, what can I do for you? Another great place, because let's face it, nobody wants to drop their phone in the sink for your hands free. Walking down the street, however, is not a good place for your hands free. So here's another one that it doesn't annoy me, it just, I think, more than anything, confuses me. There are full of these apps now for meeting people, dating people. For, or meeting people for whatever you may wish to meet them for. And you'll come across profiles and they'll say, you know, not looking for this, looking for that, or not just looking for sex or whatever. Yet half the time, the first thing that someone will say to you is, oh, do you want some fun? Well, if that's what you're after, then just say that's what you're after. Don't put, I'm not after fun, and then say, I want fun. Because, well, eh. But yeah, that's just yeah, one of those, you know, uh, don't know what that was. Now this is one that really annoys me. Now this is a magazine. Have you ever been into a supermarket or Smith's or somewhere like that? And you're trying to look through the magazines, trying to see if there's something that you want. And there's somebody doing this. Meanwhile, you're stood behind them going like this. 
because you can't see what's on the shelf. If you want to read the damn magazine, buy it, take it home. And then you can do this. Ooh. 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 As much as you want. We've just been walking down the street, minding your own business, and someone comes along, and all you can hear is the music. Not even going to say anything. not tough. Just because you like your music, it doesn't mean everybody else wants to listen to it. Well, these are full, brilliant things. This one that really annoys me, and from what I've seen, it quite annoys quite a few other people as well. But this is my phone. This is Facebook on my phone. My laptop's over there. That has Facebook on it too. Loads of people that you know connect to or friends with or whatever. But the amount of people that post something going, "Oh, I can't believe this has happened," and then don't tell you what it is, or such and such, or. <clears throat> I can't be mad right now, and you know who you are. Well, if they know who they are, then surely the best thing is to just tell them and not put it on Facebook, because then everyone else is thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? And <clears throat> it's just really, because like, especially if it's someone that you're really good friends with, you're thinking like, are they alright? Do they need some help? What's going off? And half the time, it's something, say, completely and utterly pointless and ridiculous. It's not just stop it. If you somebody annoys you or someone's upset you and they're your friend or you know them, then just I'm sure they won't be put out if you go, look, you said this the other day, you did this the other day, kinda pissed me off, can you not do it again? And you know, maybe they will sort for a couple of days and then they'll realise what an idiot they're being as well, get over it, and life carries on. For God's sake, grow up! Sorry, man over. Zen like. Zen like. I'm so not going to post this. <laughs> That's also really annoying actually. When people say I'm not going to post this and post it, which is something I've just done, so I now have to go and beat myself over the head. Sorry. You'll have to excuse the continuity issues with this video. I do apologise. One of the uh, last things I wanted to mention that really does annoy me, although I don't go often, I do like to go to the cinema, and there's nothing worse than when you're sat there to have someone get their phone out and start texting or whatever it is that they're doing, because just because it's on silent, it doesn't mean it's not incredibly bright when the room is in complete darkness, and it's just really annoying. So if you go to the cinema, put your phone in your pocket, leave it in your pocket, This final one really annoys me, and it's a couple of things that just really annoy me, but you need to be a driver to understand just quite how annoying it is. Now, the first one is, if you're on a, on a motorway or a dual carriageway, and there is somebody tootling on in the outside lane, doing like 50, and they won't move, they're holding up all the traffic, you're not allowed to undertake them because it's against the law, and yet they're just. And they're not well. Pull over. So from this lane to this lane, and cars can go past you, and everyone will be happier. Because it's this kind of driving that causes accidents. People get frustrated, they either do something stupid or they lose concentration, and that's when you start to have trouble. Second one is <clears throat> if you're coming along the road, 
and somebody just pulls out right in front of you, which is annoying in itself because, no, you know, that can cause an accident. I've just realised I haven't done my hair for this entire video as well, which I meant to do before I started. Um, wow, how vain is that? Um, anyway, not to worry. Moving back on, <laughs> moving back on. Um, yeah, when somebody pulls out, that's annoying in itself. But when they pull out and then they crawl along at like 15 miles an hour, if you're going to go that slow, why pull out in the first place? You've nearly caused one accident and now you're likely to cause another. Pay attention! And I hate to say this, but it's a lot of the time it's either women or old men. But I will admit we all do make mistakes and I'm fairly sure I have probably misjudged something in my... Well, I have. I have misjudged things in, you know, while driving in the past and I probably will again. <clears throat> but there are people that, you know, you see the same car, like, right? if you live in a certain area, that does it all the time. And it's just like, come on, focus. And one more, I'm going to mention one more, actually, and this is a pedestrian thing. There is n nothing worse than coming along a road. Now, Pelican Crossings, I use them all the time when I'm at work, <coughs> so I work outdoors and on foot. And if I have pushed the button, even if the road goes clear, I will still wait. Because there is nothing more annoying for a driver than coming along to a crossy, uh, someone's pushed the button and then thought, oh, there's nothing coming, gone, and then you come along two minutes later and you're sat there with nobody on it. From a pedestrian's point of view, there were some psychos, this only happened to me the other week, of people who just, oh, a red light, I'll carry on. Someone nearly actually ran me over about three months ago going through a red light. So drivers, red light means stop. Anyway, these are just some of the things that either annoy me or I don't understand. I'm sure there are plenty more. Some of them really just are stupid things that don't really annoy me. I just, you know, something for the video, isn't it? Anyway, what annoys you or uh, do you find really just... Grrr? See you next time. And <laughs> one more thing. Please feel free to subscribe or comment down below or like this video. I know at the moment things aren't that exciting but hopefully they'll get better and I've got a few videos coming up with some friends helping me as well. So please feel free to subscribe and click any of the other buttons that are around and about. And we'll see you next time. Bye.